If your better is swimming awkwardly and you think it may be swim bladder disease, then you found the right video to help you treat it. Swim bladder disease in betters is fairly common, but it's quite uncommon for it to be fatal. In fact, in just a few days of treatment, you should be able to cure your better. If you want to find out exactly how to do that, then keep watching. What is swim bladder disease? Swim bladder disease isn't actually a disease. It's a term used to describe any ailment, whether it's illness, damage, or situation that causes your better's swim bladder to stop working properly. So when treating swim bladder disease, you're actually trying to treat symptoms of something else. What are the common causes of swim bladder disease in betters? There are a number of different causes of swim bladder disease. The first thing you're going to need to do is diagnose the right cause. If you don't, you may end up doing more harm than good. Here are the different causes. Overfeeding or constipation. In the vast majority of cases, swim bladder disease is caused by overfeeding. Betters are particularly gutty fish and they will never stop eating even when they're full. This often makes them constipated, which can have an effect on their swim bladder. Not only can this cause them to become constipated, but it can also make fatty deposits build up in their bladder. As well as overfeeding, your better may be gulping too much air. Because betters tend to eat from the surface, they can also gulp down air, which is going to affect their swim bladder. If you're feeding your better food which has too much air in it, it can cause constipation as well. This is most likely to occur in low quality food, so you should always buy your better high quality food. Another reason is shock. A less common cause of swim bladder disease is shock. If something drastic has happened in your tank, the stress and shock could have an effect. The shock could be caused by a whole range of factors, such as a sudden temperature change or light constantly changing. Parasites. If you haven't shocked your better or you're confident they haven't been overfed, then it could be parasites. Parasitic worms can infest your better's stomach and intestines, which make it a lot harder for your better to swim. While parasitic worms aren't normally fatal, in extreme cases this can happen and can result in swim bladder disease. Bacterial infection. Swim bladder disease can also be caused by a bacterial infection. This, along with parasites, is likely due to poor water quality. If your better is suffering from bacterial infection, then swim bladder disease will likely be a symptom along with many others. However, if a bacterial infection has gotten so bad that the swim bladder is being affected, then euthanasia may have to become an option. If you notice swim bladder disease along with severe bloating and pine coning scales, then you should start treating your better for dropsy. However, at this point, the chance of survival is quite low. Low water temperature. If your tank is below 78 degrees Fahrenheit, then this could be why your better has swim bladder disease. When the water temperature in your tank drops below the ideal temperature, it's going to cause your better's digestive system to slow down. When the digestive system slows down, your better is more likely to become constipated, as well as other organ swelling. Other causes. Along with these causes, cysts in the kidneys and egg binding in female betters can also be a cause of swim bladder disease. And if this is the case, there's not much more you can expect except to wait and see what happens. What are the symptoms of swim bladder disease in betters? There are a variety of different symptoms you can expect to see in a better suffering from swim bladder disease. However, not all of the symptoms may be exhibited at the same time. The symptoms you notice will be dependent on what is causing swim bladder disease to occur. Symptoms related to overfeeding, constipation or too much air. If your better swim bladder disease is being caused by any of the above, you will notice the following symptoms. Trouble swimming and buoyancy problems. You may notice your better unable to move from the substrate in your tank, or on the other hand, he may only be able to float on the surface of the water. Lopsided swimming. As well as floating on the surface or sinking to the bottom, it's not uncommon to notice a better with swim bladder disease, swimming on his side or swimming lopsidedly. Struggling to maintain a normal position. This is a classic one. No matter how much your better swims in a certain area, he will always begin dropping down or floating up. A distended belly or curved back. This is a telltale sign of constipation or overfeeding. However, if along with this symptom, you also notice your better scales are pine coning, then he is suffering from dropsy which can be fatal if left untreated. An affected appetite. Your better may lose his appetite completely and not want to eat, or he may have trouble eating if he's stuck on the bottom of the tank. Lethargy. If you've ever eaten so much you don't want to move, then you know how your better feels when it has been overfed. Lethargy is a classic sign, but beware. In some cases, it could occur because of an infection. Symptoms related to parasites and bacterial infections. As well as the symptoms listed above, if your better is suffering from a parasite or bacterial infection, then you may notice the following symptoms. Clamped fins. 
One of the biggest telltale signs of any infection in your better is clamped fins. When they're stressed, their fins stay close to their bodies. If you notice this, then the treatment for overfeeding or constipation may not be effective. Shaking. If you notice your better is shaking, then that's another clear sign that it's got an infection and it's not just being overfed. How should you treat swim bladder disease and betters? The type of treatment you're going to need really depends on what's causing swim bladder disease to occur. If you have a quarantine tank handy, then in most cases it's a good idea to move your better into one, so you can treat him without worrying about medicating the other fish and plants in your tank. Swim bladder disease caused by overfeeding. Luckily for you, if your better swim bladder disease is caused by overfeeding, then the chances of making a recovery are good, as long as you start treatment immediately. If you have any other fish in your tank, then move your better to a quarantine tank. Now that your better is in the tank, you should fast him for three days. Don't worry, this may seem like a long time to you, but in the wild, betters often go days at a time without food. While you're fasting your better, you should also slowly start raising the temperature in the tank up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The increased heat is going to speed up the rate in which your better digests food. After three days, you should check to see if your better is improving. Sometimes this in itself is enough to cure swim blood disease, but if not, don't worry. If your better still has the symptoms of swim bladder after three days, begin feeding him cooked peas. And with the peas, make sure you don't cook them long enough to become mushy, otherwise they will fall apart before your better even gets a chance to eat them. When you're feeding your better cooked peas, take the peel off first. Cooked peas are going to act almost as a laxative to get your better's digestive system moving. If your better is having trouble swimming to the pea and eating it, then you can hold it in place for him. This can often happen in betters with swim bladder disease. If the food sinks to the bottom too quickly, you can reduce the depth of the tank by removing water from it. Keep feeding your fish just peas for about a week. Don't feed him more than two peas a day. If after a week you don't see improvement, then your better may have something more serious than constipation. Parasite or bacterial infection. If you think that your better is suffering from a parasite or bacterial infection, then the process is going to be similar. However, instead of starving your better, you should medicate him instead. Move your better to a quarantine tank where you can medicate the water. Begin dosing your aquarium. If it's a bacterial infection, you should use Melifix, and if you think it's a parasite, you should use Betamax. However, the chances of it being a parasite are extremely rare, so you should dose with Melifix first. Follow the instructions on the bottle and monitor your better's progress daily. Parasitical and bacterial infections rarely cause swim bladder disease in betters. However, if you do think this is the case, and the bad news is that normally the outcome of your better looks bleak. Shock. If there's a sudden temperature drop in your tank, or if your better has been injured, then they may be in shock. If you think shock is causing swim bladder disease in your better, then there's not a lot you can do with him. The best thing you can do is make sure the tank is the right temperature and turn the lights off. When the lights are off, your better will be more inclined to rest, which will help him make a speedy recovery. Epsom salt for swim bladder disease. If you have some Epsom salt, it can often be an effective way of treating swim bladder disease in your better if he's constipated. An Epsom salt bath will give you the best results and here's how to do it. Mix one tablespoon of Epsom salt with a half a gallon of conditioned tap water in a clean container. Once the Epsom salt has dissolved, add half a gallon of your aquarium water into the container. Replace the water taken from your aquarium with the conditioned tap water, which is the same temperature as your aquarium. Leave your better in the bar for 10 to 15 minutes. If this hasn't cleared his constipation in that time, put him back in his tank. Continue monitoring your better throughout the day to see if he's excreted or he's swimming better. If you notice your fish stop moving in the Epsom salt, or if he's just laying in one spot, then add him back to your aquarium immediately. How to prevent swim bladder disease. Swim bladder disease is quite easy to prevent when you know how, but it is going to require small changes to the way you're currently taking care of your better. If you want to prevent the risk of swim bladder disease as best you can, then follow these steps. Buy high quality food. One of the best ways you can prevent swim bladder disease is by using food from a reputable brand. Lower quality food can often be filled with more air. This can make your better constipated and bloated, leading to swim bladder disease. Aquion better pellets are a great choice. Soak your better's food. Before feeding your better, try soaking his food for a little bit so it sinks. When betters eat from the surface of the tank, they can swallow air. Swallowing too much air can cause swim bladder disease. If you don't want to do that, then consider buying sinking fish food. Make sure you're not overfeeding your better. A better's stomach is the size of its eyes, so they don't need as much food as you think. No matter how much you feed your better, he will always be hungry, so stick to two to three pellets a day, or the recommended amount. Make sure you're keeping your water quality good. 
There are a number of ways you can do this, including performing regular water changes, vacuuming the gravel and removing algae from the tank. As well as this, every once in a while, you should also clean all the ornaments in your tank. Not only is this going to help prevent swim bladder disease, but it's also going to help prevent a lot of other illnesses as well. Your ammonia and nitrate levels should be at 0 ppm, and the nitrate level should be below 20 ppm. Make sure you're keeping your temperature constant. Temperature fluctuations can cause swim bladder disease and stress your better out. If your heater breaks and you notice the temperature dropping rapidly, then you need to find some way to begin warming the tank. Make sure your bet is not getting into fights. If your better is getting into fights with any of the other fish in your tank, then you'll need to remove the culprits. This will help reduce the chance of injuries resulting in swim bladder disease and remove any ornaments that can cause injury. If you have any ornaments or plastic plants with sharp edges, then you should remove them from the tank. This will also decrease the chance of a lot of diseases and infections occurring. Is swim bladder disease fatal? Whether or not swim bladder disease is going to be fatal depends on what underlying cause is behind it. If your better has swim bladder disease because of constipation or bloating, then he'll make a full recovery in no time. However, if it's due to something more serious or if you think it's related to dropsy, then the chances of your better surviving are very low. And the main way swim bladder disease becomes fatal is due to the injuries your better may sustain. If your better has trouble swimming away from the surface, some of his skin may be constantly exposed. This exposure will cause lacerations, ulcers, sores and infections to occur when the slime coat on your better scale starts to dry out. The same thing will happen if your better can't swim off the substrate. The constant scraping against gravel or sand will begin to remove your better's stress coat as well. Is swim bladder disease contagious? Once again, this depends on what the cause behind it is. If your better has swim bladder disease because of constipation or overfeeding, then obviously that isn't contagious. However, if you're overfeeding your better, then you may be overfeeding other fish as well, which might result in other fish suffering from it. If swim bladder disease is caused by parasites or bacteria, then it's more likely that it can spread through the water and infect other fish if they have weakened immune systems. But this is because the organisms are already in the tank with your better. If your other fish have strong immune systems, then the chances of them getting swim blood disease are slim too. Here's a quick recap. Now you should know all the vital information you need to help your better recover after suffering from swim bladder disease. But here are some of the main points to remember. Swim bladder disease has a range of different causes, including shock, injury, infection, constipation, and overfeeding. The symptoms include floating at the top or bottom of the tank, being unable to stay in one spot without swimming, lopsided swimming, a distended back or bloated belly, loss of appetite, and lethargy. If you think constipation is causing your better swim bladder disease, then you should fast him for three days. After three days, feed him cooked de-skinned peas. If you think it's due to infection, then you're going to need to use the appropriate medication. And lastly, if you think it's due to stress or injury, there's nothing you can do except be patient. As well as this, you can also try an Epsom salt bath if your better is suffering from constipation-related swim bladder disease. Some of the ways to prevent swim bladder disease in betters is to make sure you're not overfeeding them, keeping the tank water clean, and helping them avoid injuries. Swim bladder disease isn't normally fatal when it's due to constipation, but it can be in other cases. And lastly, swim bladder disease isn't contagious, but if it's related to water quality issues, then there's a chance other fish will get it as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and you've had all your questions answered. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a great day.